we will see how to create a backup and how you can install that backup in a new course okay so i already have some backup but let me start with an example for your instance so here inside this course inside this category i have one course click on it after clicking on it i will come here so either you can go through view then course to use or you can also directly switch to this backups so once you click on this any course you will have then you will see the backups okay so basically you will not be going for the enrolled user but in case you want the same user to be enrolled in your restored place you can make this change so ideally it should be unchecked click next click next again and yes on this page you can also verify uh, let me go back one step so you can verify you can see here this is your test one two three whatever is coming you can either check or uncheck in case not required now click on backup perform so here it will take time on this page uh, it totally depends on your the content of the course you have but it it should not take more than two three minutes in case your package around 100 MB okay so backup will take some time uh, based on your course size and if your course is uh, very little in size like 1 MB 2 MB 5 MB then it will take less less time lesser time comparatively but this is a large course so that is why it is taking time on this page in backup so you can see here 91 percent is done you can also see the progress in case you want Yeah, so ideally we will see at the end it is increasing the percentage very slowly that's because it was wrongly calculated at the beginning but yes it is completed now click on continue and here you will find all the backups so back of the latest one i just created this is of 127.7 mb so now you can download this backup and this backup you can upload on any other in lms or in this lms itself so anywhere you can use where the Moodle support backup and restore you can use this course okay so now coming to restore so to restore you will have to come under the courses again site administration courses course category so here you can create create a course either you can create a new course or so in this example i basically will show you how you can create a new instance and import okay so new course so whenever you come to this uh, category manager page you will find more then you will have a restore course from here you will be browsing your export it so i am using this newly exported one now click on restore so again on this page it will take a time some time it totally depends on the number of uh, the content and the size of your uh, your backup click on continue yes so it is showing restore as a new course so in case you want to create a new course you will have to pick this option but in case you want to restore that in existing you will also have option here okay so yes i want to restore as a new course okay and now it will be asking you to select category here so i am selecting this negotiating okay so click on continue 
नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट परफॉर्म सो हियर टाइम विल टेक इट विल टेक सम गुड अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज इट हैज अ लार्ज साइज एंड इट कंटेंट्स लॉट ऑफ कंटेंट्स लाइक इट हैज क्यूज इट हैज सम इमेजेस इट मे कंटेन पिक्चर्स सो इट इज शोइंग थ्री मिनट्स थर्टी थ्री सेकेंड्स ओके सो लेट्स वेट अगेन yes time is again increasing it so 11 minute 25 second yes it keeps increasing it's so 19 minute now but let's see at the end of on this step you will see your course is restored as a new course and the name will remain the same suppose i have uploaded this one it was b1 exam practice as a name so it will be created as the same name or it may add some uh, like the copy word or any additional stuffs in this name okay now you can see 95.8% is completed click on continue at it has completed yes as i told you the course name was this and it has added copy one as a suffix so from here you can verify your everything each and every content should supposed to be here okay if i come here under this i can see all my questions that have been created here okay so once you you are done with this you can also verify uh, you will find here the increase number of the course inside that particular category okay so here i have added inside which one i forgot no issue so i can verify from here if i come back here on this page if i go to settings so i can also see here on this page and it's so business intelligence training negotiate negotiating okay, so you'll find this course inside this category and it totally depends on your uh, selection category while uh, restoring so courses then the course categories then i have this business english skills then negotiating yes inside this this is your course you just restored so from here you can rename if you want yeah if you click here on edit again it will redirect you to the same page this page Okay, so course started. It was just created, and this the same date will appear here. It it does not change any things. Okay, so the this course that downloaded one was start date was this. So that's why it is taking everything from there. Okay, so image you can also see here. In case you want to upgrade anything, you can do this at your end. So hopefully it will be working for your case.